Oh, we got it. We pulled one of the gods of V-Star Universe. Crown Zenith, V-Star Universe. It is a set that I cannot get enough of. I did a recent video, which you can check out. Wayne, V-Star Universe, and I'm back for more. This set is easily, probably like the most fun I've had opening Pokemon since I was a child. So I have another V-Star Universe booster box, which is 10 packs with 10 cards each. Each pack has a heavy number of hits. Uh, we're going to crack in. I'm going to put all the data from all the weight ranges at the end of the video to show you what we get from each pack in each weight range. So we've got a few lighter ones. We've got a, a few which are consistent. And we have some heavier packs as well. Without, the, without further ado, I can't talk. Let's crack in. Watch up, guys. It's me, Mochi. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can eat. All right, first pack of the day. 16, 9, 4. Card trick? I, I think I have to do three to the back. Dude, I really can't remember. Or like three to the front. I might butcher the first pack and I apologize. I butchered the first pack. It is what it is. All right, we got a Torterra. We got a Radiant Charger Bug, first pack, lightest pack. Uh, we got a Reverse Theone, Manaphy. Uh, I can't ever tell them apart. Mareep, Poochiena, Reggie, Friends Somewhere, Energy, Reggie Lecky, and an Arceus V. Well, all right. So what I learned here is I shouldn't try and do the card trick. All right, so I moved three from the back, which put all of them at the front. Does that mean I don't have to move anything? Maybe that it's already in order. I, I don't remember. Let's open the second pack and I'll figure it out as we go. All right, Arceus V, I'll sleeve you. The other boys, I'll sleeve you after. I'll sleeve you after. All right, you know what we need for a bit of luck? Mochi, you want a treat, dude? This, this right here will give us the god pack we need gaming all right I, I won't try and butcher the card trick i'll just open the pack as it stands oh, he licked my fingers just have to wipe it off i don't want to touch any good good cards with his saliva all right let's just do it as it is okay we've got a magma it feels like there's something at the back it just feels different lapras my boy ghastly All these items and Pokemon. I don't know. Drapion V. Okay, in the front. Drapion V. Interesting. We've got a holographic Magnazone. Holographic Absol. And in the back. The Rev. Oh, we got it. We pulled one of the gods of V-Star Universe. Badoof himself. That's it. That's the end of the video, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We, we pulled the chase for the set. Reverse God Bidoof. There he is. Beautiful. <laughs> I had to. I had to for the memes. Come on. It, it's like it's like the Metapod reverse from uh, 151 <laughs> that people meme on being like the pool. But evil. It's beer evil. All right, yeah, so we don't have to do a card trick. They're already, like, in the correct order because, you know, Japanese is based, apparently. And it's only English, which is all whack. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got Paris, Magmorta, and Electivia. Double teaming, Bronzong. Bronzor, even. Uh, Spiritomb. Balls. Oh, let's go. Charizard V-Star. Ripple R, baby. That's a, that's a good hit. Good hit. I mean, it's no, it's no Mewtwo. It's no Mewtwo, but we'll take it. Get the Charizard V. We got Milkers. Uh, Cirrus, maybe, if that's your name. And uh, Roxanne. I'm pretty sure that's Roxanne. Whoa, she is so much shinier than Bidoof. Uh, no, nah, I think it's just a darker background. Hoggers. All right, Charizard. Nice, nice, nice. Probably like the best V-star to get that's not um, one of the SARs. One of the best, like, triple R rarities. 
What is triple? I need to look this up considering I'm opening so much Japanese at the moment. Like, what the hell is triple R? Is it just like double rare, triple rare? Like, is that literally, is that literally all it means? It's not like rad, radiant rare. <laughs> all right. Haunt on me, boy. Oricorio. Parasect. Belt. Reggie Lucky. I don't know, somebody from Horizon Zero Dawn, probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, we get the Zacian. Zamazenta. Zamazenta. Uh, we got a, a Dustna. Galarian Zapdos. And a. Uh, is it, what is it? Nicket and Thievul? Nicket? I feel like. I feel like I don't want to say that Pokemon's name. I, I feel like the AI video checker can just hear things that it shouldn't. All right. Pumpkaboo. Cricket, uh, Cricketot. Leapard, whatever your name is, whatever your name is. Oh, she's from, um, she's from Platt, right? She goes to the forest, like, Cheryl, I don't know. Uh, we got the Palkia, double R. We got a Toxtricity. A Deoxys. Man, an Oricorio Reverse. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember her name, honestly. I want to say it was like Cheryl. But who the... Brick nose, man. All right. That was the end of our lighter packs. 7.17.07. Uh, now we're going into 11, and then we got the heavy ones. We got like, what, four heavy packs? But I mean, I, I don't know, like, maybe we get two god packs. We get like blessed. Probably not. But of course, we are chasing one of the golden gods or the Pikachu illustration rare, Pikachu art rare. Um, they're all pretty sought after cards. It's actually incredible how expensive the Pikachu is in Japanese. Insane. Considering you can buy it in English for like four bucks. Oh, we got the Leafy on V-Star. Okay, another triple R. Uh, we got the Zori Boy. Deante and a Sligo. Suian. All right, I feel like our hits are being taken up by the triple R's, but it is what it is. Could be worse. That's a Charizard and a Leafeon, the triple R V-Star. Uh, zero art rares so far, by the way. Nearly making me forget that this is Crown Zenith, which is meant to be loaded with art rares. But we are getting into the heavier packs now. So hopefully we start seeing some art rares and maybe, just maybe we see the Mewtwo or perhaps the Charizard, or one of the gods. I think uh, Arceus and Giratina are similarly priced in Japanese, even though Giratina is way, way more expensive in English. All right, some sort of stadium, whatever your name is, Sligo. There it is. Not sure if Manaphy, probably Manaphy. Art rare, beautiful card, beautiful card. <laughs> a school of Broxious, everyone's favorite Pokemon, some wishy washies, some Puku Mukus, maybe a, uh, a Toxel, not a Toxel, a uh, Mariani. We got the RR uh, uh, Weirdia, my boy Gengar, and a Keldeo. Couple of nice cards. Manaphy R Rare, pretty nice, pretty nice. I actually don't have this one in English. I, I'm, I'm trying to master the. Art I don't really care about mastering the full crowns on the set. But I'm trying to master the Galarian Galleries because I think that is so damn good. I'll sleeve you up as well. The good pack. So good pack. We get a V and an Art Rare. Hopefully these all from here on out contain Art Rares or better. We have three left. Two zero, two four, two four. Heavy packs, man. Heavy packs. Heavy packs. Hopefully we don't get the uh, Samurai again. As nice as the card is, I don't want double. I don't want double up. I don't want to double up. All right, Buzz, Ligo, here we go, baby. Cynthia, oh, that's a sign. Oh, we got the Mew. Yes, dude, the Mew art rare is so, good. so good. Look at this. So damn cute. It just hits. Oh man, the, the sheen on this. Is that a barrow scooter? Never noticed that. 
got the Nidoran, got the Cramoran, got the Cutie Flies, got the Galarian Point Eater, got the little Scoivert dudes in the back. And a Mew VMAX, Triple R. And likely just two regular hollows in the back. We have the Hyserian Arcanine and the Moltres. Heavy packs, heavy packs, baby. Double bangers, we love to see it. Great card, great card. Again, like, you know, would prefer other things, but this Mew is freaking clean, man. Like, if I was a grader, that's a 10. It looks impeccable. It looks beautiful. Like, look at this. Perfect in, like, every sense. All right. Last two packs. Heavy packs. I told you, Cynthia shows up. Everything's better. Cynthia number one waifu. Don't at me. All right. The moon. The orb. Choose. Roxanne. Reggie Drago. This is it. Come on, baby. Oracorio Art Rare. Heavy packs seem to... The heavy packs seem to be... And this is what I observed in the last video. The heavier packs seem to have the Art Rares. Oracorio Art Rare. Charizard SAR, baby. Oh, boom. Of course, this is just a promo card you get from the Charizard UPC in English. But you have to pull this in V-Star Universe, and that is a beautiful card in Japanese. Holy shizen. The texture on all the objects. And then we get a couple of hollows I couldn't give a shit about. Oh my lord. That is tasty. These sleeve, these perfect fit sleeves, it's so funny how some cards just glide in easily. And other cards are just that slight little bit too big, apparently. Oh my god. Amazing. I'll do a price check on that. I'll put the price on the screen now. I actually don't know what that's worth. Because in English, obviously, you can get three all three promos pretty cheaply. Just because like they are from the UPC. But they are steadily going up in price. Just with the drying up of the Charizard UPC. Which I say drying up, you can still get them pretty cheap, honestly. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're still heavily stocked retail just because, you know, they have such notoriously bad hit rates. I did a video myself, which you can also check out, um, which my dog Mochi helped me pick the best packs out of. And uh, yeah, that didn't go too well. That was a really, really bad UPC. But it all comes down to this, guys. Last pack magic. Another heavy pack. Could be another double banger. Mochi. Blessed. Give me a god. Give me a golden god. Give me a Pikachu art rare. Give me a double banger. The weight ranges so far dictate that we should be seeing another art rare, but that's not guaranteed. I have just observed, as you would have from watching this, that art rares seem to be in heavy packs. Gardenia. Piratum. Yeah, it's just a regular V Giratina, not the god of golden variety. Okay, I'm not sure about this. This is in a weird order now. We got the holographic. We got the holographic. There must be one of these seated in every box. I feel like this card must be like the heaviest card in the set. It's double textured. It's got the Pokeball and the energy symbol. Because we also got this in our last pack on the last opening with uh, the Psychic one. This one does not seem to have Hollow Shift or Texture Shift. Do I have the Psychic one near me? So compare this. So look around the text here. Like you can't see any like weird stuff going on around the text. Compare that. Let me go at the top loader. Compare that to this on the Psychic. Can you see like the doubling? Can you see like how the texture's moved away from the text? Like you can clearly see the outline of a text on both the energy. Sorry, it's kind of harder to see in sleeve because the light reflecting, but yeah, you can clearly see like there's like a, a double, it's, it's nearly double. 
Nina looks double printed, but it's just, it's just um, the texture shifted from where it should be. Or well, the holographic film has shifted. Yeah, you can see it even more from far away on the uh, psychic eye. Very cool. All right, let's do a quick recap. I'll put the data at the end of the video. It will come. I think we've noticed a pretty clear trend around heavier packs having the art res, which is cool. So like, this isn't about like, can you weigh, like these videos aren't just about like, oh, can you weigh X, Y, Z? It's about just seeing what the data shows us. You know, across two videos, it is a limited sample size, of course, but two videos kind of hinting towards the same thing, which is that like heavy, uh, it's generally like better for art res. Pretty sure I got all the V's out. Um, heavy is better for art res, like just seems to be a thing. But I mean, I, I never condone buying Japanese packs in general, loose, because they can be weighed pretty accurately. Like our first few packs had nothing, right? So even even in like a set like this, where there's quite a few, uh, quite a few holographics, whether it's reverse or like V's, etc., like there's still a pretty clear, a clearly identifiable like weight here. All right, let me just get these all separated. Really stoked with that Charizard SAR and the Mew AR, like amazing cards. Um, this box has definitely probably been a step up from the last one. All right. Now let's have a look. So we've pulled a few Vs. We've got the Drapion V, the Weird Ear V, the Palkia V, the Arceus V, and the Zamazenta V. We picked up a singular Mew VMAX. Borderline too big for this perfect fit sleeve. Um, which looks really nice. But again, like low value card, it is what it is, but it's still a beautiful card. One of my favorite cards. Then we picked up the Leafeon Vista and also the Charizard Vista. Not sure what the Charizard's worth. I'll throw it on the screen now. Um, probably not a lot. Beautiful card. Charizard's got a bit of whitening, which is pretty rare for Japanese cards to have that out of the pack. A little bit of whitening. And then we've picked up three beautiful RS. We got the Manaphy. We got the Oricorio. And of course, we got the beautiful Mew Art Rare. This thing is gorgeous. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Like this, this slaps. This is actually one of the more pricier base Art Rares in English, Crown Zenith 2, just because it's such a nice card. And of course, interestingly, and I'll pop this price on the screen now, if I didn't do it already, we got the beautiful Charizard SAR 211. This is, of course, a promo in English. Wait, do you have holo sh texture shift as well? Or am I just... No, I don't think so. Is it just the way it is? Like, I can see... There's like a bit of black going into the zero. It's really hard to see on the camera. It's really hard to see on the camera. I don't think so. I think it's pretty clean. Perfect centering. Like actually perfect centering. Oh, is it? No, no, not really. It's like 60, 40, 60, 40, 60 left, 40 right. And the back is, oh, the back looks good. The back looks good. I mean, my still grade pretty well. If I, if I, again, I'm not a grader. I've never graded in my life. But dude, what a what a freaking card! Anyway, I should stop. Uh, I should stop just freaking out over the beauty of the Charizard. That is it for the video, guys. Uh, data will go up in a second. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm closing in on 1K, which means I'm closing in on moni uh, monitor. Uh, talk, man. Monetization. So that means I can start actually making money on this content. At the moment, I'm just like bleeding money, buying product to open for you guys. Um, really getting really close to monetization, which will be sweet. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. From me, from Mochi, I appreciate it. Um, until next time, thought it will go up. Like, subscribe again, please. Thank you. Bye.